Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Alcolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Kylie Jenner Nice Holiday Palette. So this is the palette right here. Um, I created this look using the eyeshadow palette and we're just going to be reviewing the shade range, um, usability, you know, the fallout, the shadow quality. Um, yeah, and that's just it. Just felt like slaying. This is a holiday makeup tutorial. I guess you could say this is my first holiday makeup tutorial. Before we do head on right into the tutorial, do not forget to subscribe down below. Do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It does help to spread the word, to spread my content out there so that others can enjoy the same footage you are enjoying as well. Without further ado, let's jump right in. I'm going to be going in with the YSL Touche Claw Blur Primer. You guys might see this nail throughout the video. It's broken and I just haven't gone to the salon to go fix it. I be coming on this camera looking all types of ways. <laughs> this primer is really good at blurring out the skin, filling in any pores or texture you might have. And it does have really nice gold reflex. So it does leave a bit of a nice glow onto the skin. Next, I'm going in with a hydrating um, makeup base, the Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base, and I'm just going to use this on the outside parts of my face, just because my skin does get really dry. Next, I'm going to be going in with the, the Huda Beauty Hashtag Full Filter Foundation in the shade Nutmeg 520. I'm going to be first applying this with my finger, concentrating around the areas where I do feel I need the most coverage, which is usually just around my mouth, because I do have a bit of hyperpigmentation. And then in the center of my face here. So I'm going to be going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast to highlight the high points of my face, the high regions of my face. I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia uh, Cream Contour Kit in deep and I'm going to be going in with Rich Earth using this to contour my face. And with my Ben Nye Neutral Setting Powder, I'm going to set my face. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Ruby Kisses Chestnut Powder. I haven't really used this to contour in a while, and I'm already holding it because this is the mirror I usually use when I'm filming. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with the KKW Beauty Powders with all the kickback. And I'm gonna just use them to kind of just lightly warm up my face. I don't want too much going on today. Okay, so now to take a look at the actual um, eyeshadow palette itself. This is the box it does come in. I haven't opened it yet as you can see the tape is still on there. So we're just gonna go ahead and open that up now. This is what it looks like on the inside. It says Kylie. Now something like this I'm going to say is going to get dirty easily, but it's also white on the inside and it has um, the actual, the body is a nice sleek white matte packaging where the circles have this kind of felt feeling on them. It's like felt and then it says nice and Kylie Jenner is in silver. So we're going to open this for the first time. 
actually planned on buying, I wanted to actually buy the Naughty palette, but it sold out in 3.5 seconds, so couldn't get my hands on that. Um, the mattes feel really nice and buttery, and they're actually pretty pigmented, surprisingly. I should quickly prime my lids. be using the shade lullaby to set so I'm gonna go in I'm first gonna go in with the shade Holly which is this shade right here rather than being more um, like orange base it's definitely more of a peachy red so I mean the shade is showing up on my eye however it is very light the um, brush I am using is the Sigma Diffused Crease Brush, the E38. At first I was doing swirling motions, now I've decided to switch to more padding motions first to kind of place the color on first. And I think that it's picking up a lot better. Next, I'm going to be going in with the shade Wonderland cranberry brown shade right here right on the outer corner the outer edge honestly i really live for shades like this and eyeshadow looks like this okay this is a really pretty brown so i think with these shadows what works best is actually a padding motion versus a swiping motion after you've laid the product down, you can then go back in and actually blend around the corners, but packing them on first versus swirling them on seems to work better with these shadows in terms of getting the most amount of pigment onto your actual skin. Next, I'm gonna be going back in once more with that fluffier brush to clean the edges again and kind of marry the two shades right in the crease. Carve out this portion right here. And it's not really carving, I'm more just cleaning up. And I'm gonna go in with a flat shader brush and I'm gonna apply the shade Drummer Boy first, which is a nice, um, it's a brown sheen shade. gumdrop right here it's more gold base oh this is really pretty so there's one more sheen that i do want to try on here oh my god i swore this was not going to be like a cut crease and look at what i'm out here doing <laughs> okay so this is the shade Mulberry. This is another sheen shade, but I really like it. I wanna see if I can do like a gradient um, over here. And I'm just gonna pack this on on the outer. Create the detail by shading around the eye shape. I'm gonna do the second eye and then we're gonna come back on camera and we're gonna finish up the rest of the face. I don't wanna smoke out the lower lash line too much. I just went in with the deeper shades, Wonderland, Hot Cider, and a little bit of um, Holly. Going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on my lower lash line. Ugh, smoke it. So I'm going to be going in today with the Fashion Fair Blush. And I believe this is like, this is Gingerberry. This is a really flattering shade on uh, deeper skin tones. There's a bit of fallout with the eyeshadow. Um, not too much. Um, I'm just gonna go in with a bit of powder just to kind of clean that up a bit right here. I'm gonna go in with the Artist Couture Highlighter in Conceited. Just using whatever's left on the brush because I 
I'm not trying to look like a disco ball. I'm gonna be going in with the NYX 818 lip liner on my lips. Just lightly, not too crazy. For lipstick today, I'm going to be going in with Max Velvet Teddy. Haven't used this in a while. It's a really nice peachy nude. To top it off, I'm gonna be going in with the Fenty uh, Gloss, the Universal Gloss Balm. The Tatcha Dewy, uh, the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist on the sides of my face. And then I'm going to be spraying the Fix Blush just on the center of my face because I don't want everything to look cakey. So I'm going to take my hair out. Wow, I look crazy. <laughs> so I just put my hair into some braids. Um, I'm just gonna take these out and then comb my hair out. <laughs> Kylie Jenner, who? Kylie Jenner, where? Okay, so this is the final look with the Kylie Jenner um, Holiday Collection Nice Palette. Well, it's not gonna be a rebuy because it's a holiday collection and once it's gone, it's gone. However, I will say that the shades in here and are nice. They are pigmented. I didn't try all the shades and some of these lighter shades like this mustard shade here called Ginger Snap, I didn't actually try. However, I do think that the overall look is nice and the eyeshadows do show up nicely on my skin tone, so darker skin tones can use this. I think this is a versatile palette, and I do like the combination of shades in here. You get some really great transition shades with Wonderland, Holly, Hot Cider, even Santa Baby, um, and Lullaby for lighter skin tones. However, I, I feel like a similar look I could have gotten with my Huda Beauty palette. This is a cheaper alternative though. I will say it's kind of similar to a lot of the shades um, in the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. So is it a dupe? I don't know if they're dupes necessarily, but it is a cheaper alternative. This palette is $44. Um, so let me know what you guys think about the look in the comment section down below. Do not forget to subscribe on your way out. I really do appreciate you guys stopping by. Check out a few of my other videos and I do hope to see you guys in another tutorial very soon. Until then, stay blessed and stay golden.